to start off, in my opinion, the best man speech should last as long as a groom does in bed. So thanks, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs> Before I forget, I just want to acknowledge how great most of you look tonight. <laughs> Megan, you look beautiful in the dress. The uh, dress is a nice change of pace from the pants that you wear in the relationship. <laughs> I think you're gonna be in a fucking dress though. <laughs> now, I'm not much of a public speaker, but growing up I've been told to picture picture everybody naked. So sorry to call you out like this, Nick, but it's not that cold in here. Uh, I truly like to welcome all of you. Uh, without you here today, uh, this this really wouldn't have mattered. Um, it would have been cheaper, but I'm glad that you guys are here. We met in high school. We'd see like each other in the hallway. Never would say hello or anything. It was just the awkward eye contact, like, oh. <laughs> I can remember one day, sophomore year, she started talking about some boy who messaged her on Facebook. Facebook came along. <laughs> the modern love story. And he would make all these posts. Well, actually, she liked a lot of my pictures on Facebook. And finally, I like liked a few. Wow. I was like, all right, let's, you know. Shoot your shot. Yeah. <laughs> I sent her a message. Saying and he messaged me like much saying like much and then we just kind of kicked it off from there We are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Nicholas and Megan In the years they have been together their love for each other has grown Turning them into the couple you see before you now they are ready to spend the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for a boy. Um, <laughs> then we uh, got her into softball, we all know how that turned out. It got her through college and everything else. Um, I always told her it was kind of funny that 24-7, I have a daughter, but the minute she stepped onto that field, she became my son and just kicked ass. Right. Okay. 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 I'm ready for this, Dad. <laughs> you, you ready? Have it's getting real now. <laughs> it's time that I officially welcome Nick to the family, and honestly, you've been part of the family for a while now. Now there comes a time in everybody's life where they find someone they admire, care for, cherish, and are downright gentle to every word spoken and every touch given. That moment came for Nick about 15 years ago when he met me. <laughs> Nick is caring and strong and responsible and very handsome. Dude, I can't read your writing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Nick and I met each other out on the dodgeball court in the seventh grade. I was the new kid in town, and he was the kid with blonde highlights, a square head, and a fat lower lip. <laughs> you know? Early on, I didn't understand some of your actions, uh, but boys will be boys. <laughs> But you've matured a lot in the last few years, and uh, you've shown me you truly care and love Megan. 
and uh, that's all a dad could really ask for. So thank you. Turn around. Lucky for me, not only do I have Megan in my life, but I have Nick too. Nick has always had my back without judgment, whether that be helping me write texts pretending to understand football to impress a guy, or running running me paper towels and water when Green Street gets the best of me. He is always there. Wow, look at you. You look beautiful. What, what can I say about Megan that most of you don't already know? No matter what your relationship is with her, I think you could probably agree that she cares a lot for those people that are in her life. Between losing multiple family members, job changes, and life in general, she was always there through it all with chicken nuggets and McDonald's. Having been there since the very beginning, saying I'm proud to see where you guys are together now is an understatement. And I hope you really all have experienced the way that Megan has been there for me, for you too, in, in any way, big or small. I'm excited to see where your lives go and I cannot wait to third wheel you guys forever. So now if we can all raise our glass to Nick and Megan and wish them the two most essential things for a successful marriage, a sense of humor and selective hearing. <laughs> It's now my honor and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Rosati, Mick Tisher. <laughs> <laughs>